Karen with NewClevelandRadio.net, and it's time for Avoid the Maze. And I am very excited about my guest today because we're going to talk about a subject that I really know nothing about. Um, although I've heard my son talk about them, um, and uh, I'm really interested to find out what Zach has to say about a dating app that he has created. It's his full-time job, um, but I have a feeling it's more than a job. Am I correct? Yeah, I mean, this is, I would say, my passion for the last few years, and uh, it's been really fun. So just looking at your past, you are a creator of, um, I don't know if I want to call them apps or organizations, but you find a passion in an area and you go out and you create it and you help other people out there, correct? Yeah, I would say my passion is creating connection in a more efficient manner. Okay. So as we all know, there's a lot of dating apps out there and some that we know really well because they do a lot of advertising on TV. Um, and there are others that, um, you know, I've been told by individuals, you know, I never want to see that app again. Um, so what is Top Romp really about? Well, Top Romp was a previous dating blog I ran. I, I currently run the dating app called Filter Off. Um, Filter Off, it's a video speed dating app. Um, how you could think of it is uh, online dating has... Uh, was really introduced in the 90s with Match.com and also uh, JD um, in 2012 uh, with the advent of now like mobile um, it, it introduced the swipe. Tinder introduced the swipe. Um, people are now with the pandemic happening. Uh, people felt very, uh, I would say the word is tired of swiping. They had swipe fatigue. They felt it was very robotic and not feel like it was just a numbers game. Um, there's this new paradigm of online dating, which is a much more human experience. And that's where filter off leads um, in this new paradigm, which is a video speed dating app. So if I were looking to find um, somebody new in my life, uh, I would come out to your site and what, fill out a form in that sort of, you know, filters me in the right direction? Yeah, so how Filter Off works, it's a free app uh, on Android, iOS, or the web. And after you sign up, you could do a couple of things. So you can either attend a video speeding event. So we have different events in different cities around the world. Um, events can be based off religion. They can be based off affinity group interests, such as dog lovers, um, but it can also, you can also get matched with other people in your area. And when you do get matched with them, you then coordinate a time to video speed date. So the whole premise of our app is that you're meeting people and not profiles through a video speed date. So interestingly enough, um, and I don't know if you watch it, but I'm going to bring it up. Um, there's a show that's been going on TV for quite a long time. It's called The Bachelor, Bachelorette. And um, it, to me, it's comical because to me, it doesn't seem real. Okay. But what you're telling me about your app, your app is real because it's asking me to tell you what I'm really looking for. Um, and then I'm finding people that have those same interests. Is that correct? Yeah, but you're connecting with them on a live video right. speed date. And that's what makes Filter Off so unique. And uh, it feels like a much more human experience and it brings it back to more traditional uh, dating where you're actually meeting people and not profiles. And it's a much more authentic experience. So you, you mentioned speed dating. Can you describe that to our listeners? that have no idea what it is, or we may have seen it in a movie and it really was not put in a realistic setting. Sure. So 
speeding traditionally is in-person dating. Uh, you have X amount of time to speak to a person and then you move on to the next person um, and you can say whether you like them or not. Uh, Filter Off has taken a similar approach, but it has taken it from a online approach. So what's really valuable about that is the dates are timed. So you don't get stuck with someone you may not necessarily be a good fit for. And it allows you to meet a good amount of people in the comfort of your own home. And that is pretty important. But let me ask you, when you're doing these things online, because um, I've been doing online approaches for my business, okay, which is similar, but not exactly the same. Um, but sometimes it's not as, um, it may be comfortable, but you're not getting all the information that you might have gotten if you actually were sitting in an office face to face or across the table somewhere else. Do you get that response from anybody or is it me and my old ways? No, I mean, I think it's a totally valid point. I think the beauty of online, though, is, again, you could do it at the comfort of your own home uh, versus driving or taking public transport that takes an hour um, each way. Um, there's always something you're going to give up when you're using online. However, uh, based off the data, we've seen that online creates, when it comes to video, it creates the best online dating experience when it leads to matches and connection. Well, and I do like the fact that there is um, an online video connection, such as like what we're having here on Zoom to record this, because if we were just doing this audio, um, yes, I'd hear your words, but hearing your words, seeing your facial expressions, you know, sometimes a little quizzical, like, why is she asking me that question? It makes me realize that, okay, there's something that I'm missing. I need to ask the next question. So I'm sure that happens in these uh, situations. So how long have you been in business? Uh, we launched right before the pandemic. So right before the pandemic, that probably was a perfect time because so many of us were sitting at home uh, feeling lonely, wondering if we were ever going to um, have a connection with any human person. Uh, even though in our home, there was my husband and my younger son, um, there were times that I couldn't wait to do a podcast just so I could see a different face and hear another voice. So I'm sure uh, that was helpful for you. But now that we are sort of out of the pandemic, is this still a tool that people are, and I would think that they really like, because like you said, they don't have to get in a car and drive to the other side of the city until maybe they know if there is a connection. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, when you look at the data, over 70% of singles now prefer video dating before meeting up in person. So video has now become the de facto in the online dating industry. Again, this new paradigm of online dating, which is a much more human one that these other swipe apps just do not fit into. And that's why filter off is only getting more and more popular. I mean, we've grown now uh, 150% in the last couple of months, um, about in New York where we're largest, about 700% in the last few months. Um, so yeah, it is really taking off um, uh, when it comes to filter off. Well, and I can also see that for other reasons, um, like I said, I haven't used the app, but my younger son has, and a couple of times he has scheduled a meetup and oh, the picture that he had on screen and the voice he had um, on his phone uh, do not match up when he's met in, in public. Uh, yeah. And that's sad that 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 can happen, but I can understand in some cases that, yeah, um, it, it might, but this is real time. So explain to me, because I still have a hard time with this. You know, I come from a generation when you met somebody, if you thought you had a connection, you invited them out, um, 
you know, a guy may have asked me to go to the movies, then, you know, out for something to eat afterwards. Now I understand there's a lot of online dating where I'm sitting in my house online with you and we're both watching the same Netflix movie. What is that all about? Because to me, I'm missing that connection with you sitting right next to me. I mean, again, filter off is just a way to facilitate the initial connection. It's a really bad experience uh, meeting someone at a bar um, and then two minutes in realizing you don't want to be there. Um, you've just now wasted time going there while getting made up, going there and now paying the bill. If you just hopped on a quick video speed date, you'd have seen there's probably no connection there whatsoever. So again, this is really the way to facilitate the initial connection. I mean, it's really on you to actually then meet them in person. I mean, if it's great fit on filter off, I would love you to meet them in person. Hopefully something amazing comes out of it. So for the people who are on your app, um, I'm assuming there has to be a fee because um, every business, no, yeah. no fees. It's free. Wow. Well, I'm really going to spread the news now. I love that. Um, so what do you get out of it then? Because people are going to be asking, well, you're connecting people. It's free. Um, but you spend all your time in developing and supporting this. Yeah, I mean, fortunately, we've been in a, a pretty great situation where we were able to raise two and a half million dollars from Anheuser Busch's venture arm, DX Ventures. Uh, so it allows us to provide free experiences for our singles around the world. So right now it's free. In the future, maybe there will be more paid options. Uh, but right now it's all about uh, providing singles amazing experiences and connections. You know, Zach, I am so proud to hear things like this because, you know, when we started New Cleveland Radio, um, we did it on a shoestring and our mission was to provide a voice for individuals out there like yourself and others. And people would call me up and say, come on, you, you have a motive. Okay. You're not really charging for this. Like, why are you doing it? And the reality of it is there are people like you and me and so many others that want to bring a sense of joy in our lives and it's sharing information. And uh, if I hadn't found you on Podmatch, I wouldn't have been able to have, you know, brought you on and share this information with, I know so many people who are saying, wait a second. Yeah. I don't like that swiping either anymore, or I don't want to pay the big fees right now. And I want to see who I'm talking to. And, you know, that's amazing. So a personal question, you don't have to answer it. Okay. You have this wonderful system. Have you used the system for yourself? Um, um, have I used the system for myself? I mean, I want to make sure it's the best dating app on the market. So yeah, I want to make sure, uh, kind of like eat my own dog food. So uh, for when it comes to product and future development, that's super important for me. So it's always providing feedback to my co-founder who's a product developer, software engineer. So working pretty closely with him and the rest of the team to make it the best dating app possible. Absolutely. And, you know, I can see that in addition to it being a dating app, when you connect with somebody yeah, maybe it's not the right connection for dating, but it certainly could be the right connection for a friendship um, or a connection for somebody else. And, you know, I think sometimes we go into these things thinking, you know, this has to be for me. It has to be right. And, you know, if I don't make that connection the first time, forget it. But I think we have to think about when you go out in the real world, we don't always make a connection right away. And sometimes we're on For our sure. best <laughs> and other times we're not. So you're in New York. So New York has a lot of singles. 
Um, is that where you got your start with this app? Yeah, I mean, yeah, New York has uh, 4 million singles, to be precise. And uh, yeah, that's where we launched, but it's now uh, been fortunate enough to kind of go around the globe so and create marriages around the globe as well. So how do people find you? Because I know our listeners are going to be saying, well, wait a second, you know, I need to check this out. I want to know what it's really about. I'm going to examine it. So what's the best way? Yeah. So if you search filter off in your app store, um, you'll see it or or the website, getfilteroff.com or just search filter off in Google and you'll see it as well. So if somebody in Ohio um, searches and, you know, they're looking for somebody in their area, is there a way to filter that? Okay. I had a feeling there would, especially by the name, but um, you know, I know that are going to be people listening going, Oh, well, they talked about New York. And even though they said, you know, anywhere in the world, you know what? I live in this small town. I just wonder if I'd be able to find somebody. So do you do any, if, how do people become, I know how they are going to find somebody on your app. How do they become the person on the app? So when you say on the app in terms of. So like I'm looking for, um, someone in Ohio, I'm, you know, how, how do you find that person or how do I find them by filtering? Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So filter off will every day gives what we call daily picks. So it's an assortment of individuals and then also video speed dating events that are relevant to you. So do these individuals sign up to be on, on your app? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everyone that you see in your daily picks are also filter off users okay. based off your preferences. Okay. That that's where I was getting from. It's like, well, how how am I gonna find them if they've never been on there? But makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And I didn't know if you were going out and soliciting you no know, people to sign up. Is that something that you do? I mean run paid marketing. Um I wouldn't call it soliciting. I would call it providing people an opportunity to join in a very human-like dating app. I love that. You know, that's why I like to ask the hard question to have you give us the right answer. That is perfect. Well, again, tell us how we can have our listeners find you because we'll put it in the show notes and we're going to encourage everybody to try this out, uh, including my son. Yeah, so just search filter off uh, in your respective app store and you'll see it. And what's also really cool is if you run a community in, let's say, the Cleveland area, you could even create an event private for your interest group or community so other singles can also attend. uh, So it'd be private to that community. I love that. Well, again, we want to thank you for joining us. And I had an opportunity to talk about something that Uh, is quite foreign to me. Uh, And I hope in my lifetime, I won't need it, but you never know. Um, Do you have people of all ages on your app? Yeah, it's as young as 18. um, And we have users in their 70s. I love it. Well, that means there might be somebody else for me if I ever need that. So Thank you very much for the creation. And again, to all of our listeners, check out the uh, the show notes and you'll have all the information and you can find someone special for your life. Thank you, Zach. Have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.